name is Rosa. Yeah. They say I'm supposed to sit in the back, but I'm tired here, so I'm finna sit right closer. Yeah. Come get me up then. It's gonna take about three, four, five men. And I ain't finna repeat myself again. Fight me. Fight roll, 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 roll. Somebody get up. My name is Eve. Yeah. I didn't believe. Yeah. I trusted Satan, ate that apple, he deceived. Yeah. And yeah, I'm naked. I thought I was awakened. I'm the first to do it. Y'all my daughters, we related. Yeah. Trick on Big Harry. Yeah. yeah. Don't call me slave ho. The hell? From the underground railroad, bust down mouth of dope. When I say run, you better go. In the dark, that glocky glow. I Shalom. Call Layla Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Rikwa Kadesh. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son. And our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so. Pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Citations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad in double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. How do you recognize a conquered people? So the first sign of recognizing a nation that has fallen is through its women. So we are a destroyed people. Our women are out of order. Our men are out of order. And as a nation, we are in a destroyed state. Let's go to here. I'm going to go to 1 Timothy chapter 5. 1 Timothy chapter 5. Let's go to verse... 12, let's go to 11, but the younger widows refuse, for when they had begun to wax wanton against Hamashiach, they will marry, having damnation, because they have cast off their first faith, and widow they learn to be idle, wandering about from house to house, and not only idle, but tattlers also, and busybodies, speaking things which they ought not. So gadding abroad, not taking care of home, not nurturing the children, is out of order. Because an idle mind is a devil's workshop. Busybody. Gadding abroad, doing folly. Verse 14, Let's go to 15. First Timothy 5, verse 14. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully so the women are supposed to be the anchors in the family holding it down so to speak where the kids are being nurtured and properly reared based on the head of the home's guidance which is what according to the word so she takes that instruction and it becomes the floor plan for the house, being led by a man of the Lord. That's the order. And she takes that instruction and teaches the children how to behave. But if you're acting like a wild hyena, then the children would take on these wild characteristics as well. <coughs> I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, 
guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully, for some are already turned aside after Satan. This is demonic, belittling, belittling yourself, being derailed, or showing yourself in a low, abominable state. This is nothing to be proud of. The Bible says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. How many of them you think are wife material, are marriage material? Not one. What man in his right mind would leave his son or daughter home with one of these wild women? I couldn't think of one. For some are already turned aside after Satan. Let's go up. First Timothy 5, verse 5. Now she that is a widow indeed and desolate trusteth in God and continueth in supplications and prayers night and day. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she live. See? So this is dead works. Unfruitful. It's carnal. Secular. So this is not helping to strengthen a household or your man. It's helping to tear down a household. Hyenas raise hyenas. Period. But ladies help to help nurture and develop future ladies and future heads or leaders of the household. That's what a productive woman does. She helps to strengthen the home, the household, through teaching, training, developing, mentoring, coaching, nurturing, 1 Timothy 5, verse 6 again. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. And these things give in charge that they may be blameless. So to be blameless is to help with the household and to help fulfill your role and purpose towards the ministry or the building of the Lord's church. How do you do that? Under the order, instruction, and direction of the head of the home. Let's go here. <clears throat> Isaiah 3, verse 16. The title, Judah's Women Denounce. Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretch forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making a, and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will smite where they scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion and the Lord will discover their secret parts. So in the old world, a woman's hair would cover her chest, her backside, her bottom, her front side, would go down to her ankles in many cases. The hair is a covering, and her hair was able to cover her body. That's how long her hair was. Even Mary Magdalene washed Yahweh's feet with her hair. Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with a stretched forth neck and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. 
therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. A scab, that's bald-headedness. Verse 18, in that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their cause and their round tires like the moon out of shape, overweight, losing that hourglass appearance or that natural girdle look, small waists, big hips, losing that. Close out here. So this is destructive to the building blocks of a nation, of a kingdom, which is the family unit. Lamentations 4, verse 2. Even the sea monsters, even the sea monsters draw out the breasts they give suck in their young ones. <clears throat> Excuse me. Even the sea monsters draw out the breasts they give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people are become cruel, like the ostrich in the wilderness. The tongue of the suckling child cleave to the roof of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask bread, and no man breaketh it unto them. So this is a cruel woman, not nurturing, not caring, not a keeper at home, but a gather abroad. She's for them streets, basically. She for them streets, in layman's terms. But not a nurturer or guide, providing guidance for the young ones. Let's read it again. Even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel, like the ostrich in the wilderness, like a wild beast. The tongue of the suckling child cleaved to the roof of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask bread, and no man breaketh it unto them. Now that thirst in this breast milk, yeah, it can be literal breast milk, but also a thirst for child development, being trained, cultured, nurtured in the way of becoming a young adult. So the child is being deprived So this is off. This is why Sleazy E push the empowerment movement and liberation in the 1960s. Families were together up until about 1970, early 1970s. And after that, began to fall apart. Broken homes that are not being properly guided, led, or directed. Get one more. <clears throat> Where do I want to go? Let's go here. Hosea 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So to forget our children, the, even the women are not in their proper place. See? So they're not being nurtured. 
They're not being trained. Matter of fact, where's the women? Let's see. Let's go down. Right here. Hosea 4, verse 14. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery, for themselves are separated with whores, and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore, the people that doth not understand shall fall. So our men became out of order, committing idolatry, which is spiritual fornication. So the Lord used our women to get right back at you, so to speak. If you don't want to be obedient and submissive to me, then your own women are going to rebel against you. Though thou, Israel, play the harlot, yet let not Judah offend, and come not ye unto Gagal, neither go ye up to Behaven, nor swear, the Lord liveth. See? So the women are not in their right mind. They're out of their damn mind, is what they are. Twerking on social media, TikTok, YouTube, while the children are growing up acting like wild beasts. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. That's why we read even the ostrich gives suck in the wilderness, but not my people. Where was that at? Sea monsters. I'm not going to read it again, but we get the point. And beat the beat a dead horse to death. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. Shalom.